Hi everyone. So I would like to share with you, um, show you my craft room. And here's the view from my window, just to start. And um, here's the general view of my crafty space. Here's how it looks. And I'll show you some things a little closer and some very close. So here are some ribbons, buttons. I really like all kinds of jars. So I have, as you can see, quite a few small and larger ones. Uh, and here I have some uh, perfect pearls um, and also some soft mock and crushed velvet. Uh, these perfect pearls I don't use as often so they're a little further. Now um, this is my uh, two favorite colors of glitter. This is champagne I believe and also this pretty pink one. Okay, now let's move on to the next spot and here I have some uh, clear scotch tape and also two jars with pencils. These are watercolor pencils and those I use for coloring uh, my coloring books. So um, this is another set of uh, Prismacolor pencils I use for the coloring books and those are three of my favorite ones. Uh, they're Ukrainian versions um, of Enchanted Forest and Lost Ocean. And this is my big shot. Here in these boxes I store all kinds of things. There's uh, lace and ribbons and some threads and stuff that I don't use often. Um, here uh, is the wooden palette and also the plastic one. I pretty new as you can see and also a large box with my uh, uh, cards. And this one has uh, grid paper uh, that I usually use for when I make my videos and some magazines, crafty magazines mostly. This is my new edition. Uh, this is my uh, heavy duty Martha Stewart paper trimmer. Here I store um, a large scoreboard, uh, also Martha Stewart, and, and lots of different small mats. So this one is for cutting and these other ones I use for watercolor paper. I mean I adhere the watercolor paper to work with it. And this is uh, a Sizzix mat I use to make flowers. Uh, here are some plates and adapters for my uh, Big Shot and some magnetic plate, uh, the rubber mat and stuff like that. Here are my large Sizzix dies, wide ones and, and these as well. And below you can see uh, another workspace mat and also the magnetic platform. So now let's move on to the uh, drawers. Okay, so I'll pull both together and this one has uh, lots of different scraps. I use those quite often and dig into that drawer quite often. This one has uh, different Sizzix dies, but the thin ones. And also some uh, embossing folders. I don't have many, I don't use them too often, so this is all I have. And some uh, stencils, mostly Simon's stamp, but there are some other companies as well. And a few more Sizzix dies. Okay, let's see next to drawers. And here you can see some more Sizzix dies. And I store the ones I use more often on the top. Here's my favorite poinsettia. And the other drawer has a color box, inks, and also the distress markers. Now here's my desk. And on my desk is this um, is my embossing uh, heat gun and also this is a jar for the watercolors that I use, my favorite ink and alt new inks and also this awesome uh, spinning organizer that I really like. It stores lots of different things and I really like that I can just have all of it in, uh, on this one organizer. These are some uh, for some punches and my favorite glue 
and the masking fluid and the rest of the acrylic box stuff like that my favorite glass mat and uh, these are my kids pencils they like to play when I when I do something play next to me with their own and these are my spectrum noir uh, pencils and here I have some colors that I pulled out to practice my uh, skin tones and hair tones. This is the drawer um, right at my desk, so another color box, a cleaning pad, some acrylic blocks, uh, some wobblers, there's also another punch, uh, all kinds of things. Pencil sharpeners as well. Oh yeah, and uh, Tim Holtz as well. So, okay, let's go to the next drawer. Here I have um, in this one uh, all kinds of uh, uh, adhesives. So this is my favorite tape. Some masking tape as well. And yep, my favorite 3D uh, foam tape, uh, foam squares. Okay, and this is my uh, embossing powder uh, here, and all the inks, and the marker, and also as you can see, this is this I you can use it for glitter. I use it for um, cleaning the excess powder off my off my desk, and some of the embossing powders as well. Okay, next folder, uh, sorry, next drawer, uh, this one is full of uh, all the alt new um, stamp sets and some dies as well. So as you can see this one, this set uh, I won in the giveaway. And this uh, drawer has some inks, the mini uh, alt new inks and also distress inks and underneath the distress inks I have uh, my H2O's there's not many but the colors are very pretty and I'm still learning how to use them so they're a little bit underneath this is the Les Asgarda um, drawer full of the stamps some I store in their original packaging some I store on special uh, plastic sheets and here are some that I decided I will be working with soon. So you can see some of the stamps here. And I stamp them on the sheet so I can see what I'm storing there, what's in there. Okay, let's move to the next drawer. This is very simple, just paper from Alt New. And this drawer I use to store uh, whatever I work on at the moment. So if I clean it off my desk, I put it there. Okay, here I have um, also different things like this board I use when I work, like we watch a movie and I color something, that's what I use. Um, there's also some mixed media paper and uh, my Misty tool and a small Martha Stewart scoring board as well. Here's the Misty. And this will be my art book soon, I hope. Okay, and let's see, um, and also the large acrylic block. In this box, I store um, distress watercolor paper and also some uh, watercolor uh, paper, like coloring cards from Simon Says Temp. And my favorite little anchor designs uh, dies. So you can see all the stitched dies in here, circles, squares, ovals, and also some cover plates to, that I really like and use quite often. Okay, there's some glue in there, there's also masking fluid, um, there is a, a little box that I store uh, different kinds of uh, scraps and whatever die cuts I have that I think I may need. It's a small box. Um, 
and in this one I store um, some of the tools like this uh, punch it's just regular circle punch and also some uh, glue glue pens and bone folders and stuff like that okay let's move on to this drawer here I have some uh, uh, wet wipes I like them keep them close but I don't like them anywhere like on the, my desk or anything so I store them in the drawer as well and this is my organizer for um, for the sequins and there are some other small embellishments as well so I'm gonna show you them a little closer there we go and underneath I have um, I printed out some booklets from uh, online coloring courses that I've purchased so here's where I keep them and also, as you can see on the right side, there are some uh, enamel dots. What I don't like um, storing them in any other way. I don't sort them. I just like going through and seeing all the colors and picking one that I need. Okay, so let's put that all back in. And next drawer has uh, my Spectrum Noir uh, pencils. It's all four sets in there. And uh, also underneath I have all the paper for pencils, so specifically for pencils I'm drawing, and also my uh, Prismacolor set that I don't use as often, so it's at the back, and some uh, notepads that were given to me by my friends. Okay, and the last drawer here has some uh, envelopes and stuff like that. Okay, and this is my favorite travel bag. And I also have uh, this uh, case. Okay, here on the window, I have a paper trimmer. It's a travel size uh, Martha Stewart paper trimmer. Trimmer, and I really like um, to carry it with me. It's very easy to use. Folds into a quite small one. It's really, really, really easy, and I really like to use it a lot. So. And next, um, so here's another set of different drawers here that I'm going to show you closer. These are the Simon Says Stamp inks. And uh, this is another organizer with uh, things I don't use as often or things that my kids shouldn't get into. Um, there are pencils and uh, blades for my trimmers and stuff and also the spritzer, things like that. Uh, and next, uh, this is uh, some shelves with paper. Here I store uh, paper for masks and also for Copics. And here's some stamping up uh, cardstock that I really like to use, some Recollections uh, cardstock as well, and some different companies' cardstock that I use for scraps mostly, or like practice. And ruler. Okay, this drawer has uh, lots of different uh, watercolor things. So this is uh, there's two sets of watercolor paints, also watercolor tubes, and lots of watercolor paper. Uh, you can see it's quite full. Next drawer has uh, my chameleon pens. Um, has some more watercolor paints. The, these are metallics. Um, and also my brushos, um, 24 paint set, and some Tim Holtz palette, and some Pebbles chalks, um, two sets. And there's also another set of uh, watercolor pencils and some Prima uh, watercolor pencils um, and gelatos. And next drawer. We have, uh, I have two organizers uh, for dyes that were made by my good friend uh, Anastasia Lotka and these are really cool, very useful, I really enjoy them and this top one I store the dyes I use the most and the bottom one, the ones that I use last often, very pretty. Here I have some Tim Holtz paper, the large pads. Um, I don't really use it, I just keep it for um, inspiration. I really like that paper, but uh, I'm not a designer paper user that much. 
Okay, and here is some uh, tilde uh, papers. Um, very pretty as well, uh, but I don't use them as often. Here is my uh, uh, sewing machine, a small one. And another drawer, some some pretty colorful stuff. <laughs> um, also, this drawer is full of Unity stamps and some stamping up as well. And next drawer has uh, some Tonic uh, Studios dies and some uh, Tilda paper scraps. And the last drawer has like my old embossing gone stuff, so things that I don't really use but don't know what to do with them yet. Okay, here's my drawer with uh, Memento inks. And I also have the Tsukiniko um, neon inks in this one. And yes, there's one stamping up on the card, as you can see. Next drawer has uh, my punch boards. There is envelope punch board and also the box punch board. And uh, there's flower one as well underneath uh, the box one. Here's the addition for the uh, envelope punch board and there's also the gift bag punch board. Next, this is my Alessis Garda drawer as well. I keep uh, papers, uh, larger size papers here. And the next drawer is also Alessis Garda and I keep uh, smaller size papers in here and some stencils, stencils as well and there are more stamps, uh, die cuts as well and some uh, card base as well. Okay, here's all I have of the small designer paper pads. I had ton. Now this is all I have left, which I'm pretty happy that it's a small amount now. Okay, here this is a full drawer of um, different chipboard from uh, Ukrainian and Polish companies. This is my uh, Smashbook and Project Life drawer. I haven't started yet on those, but I'm really hoping that I will uh, soon because I'm really excited to do that. Some of my punch boards here, um, not many, I don't use them often, I just left some of these to use with the kids sometimes as well. Okay, here I store um, my uh, smooches, different colors uh, as you can see. And also there are some uh, mini beads as well and some washi tape underneath um, and here uh, here's my laminator these are some zig uh, watercolor markers and some copics and here are my favorite uh, background stamps uh, from hero arts And in the drawers below, oh, not all of them, yeah, a couple more, I'll show you a couple more, okay. And in the drawers below, I store mostly pastes. Um, I don't use them as often, but I do like to use them from time to time, so here, here's where they are. And also these uh, flakes uh, in pretty colors, I have two sets. To be honest, haven't tried them yet, but hoping to do that soon. Okay, one paste and there's also my multimedium uh, glue and uh, uh, two more pastes in there and some daubers as well. Okay, let's move on to the next drawer. And here I have all kinds of uh, uh, stamp sets and some dies. Uh, this is not very organized, but mostly here are Simon Says stamps and uh, stamp sets, and these have uh, matching dies as well. Okay, next some Avery Owl, um, some more from Simon Says stamp as well in Cali Corky. And I even have uh, an art impressions uh, stamp for watercoloring. Some Technique Tuesdays, uh, Lily of the Valley, uh, some uh, cottage 
cuts, uh, dies, some spellbinders dies as well. Um, and I had to have this dandelion for sure. And also some stamps, some lawn fawn, um, and some tattered lace dies. And in the back, there are some uh, penny black stamps. Okay, next drawer. Um, this is more organized. So this one has um, neat and tangled. Here's some little anchor designs. Uh, next, some mama elephant, pretty pink plush, the ton, clearly besotted waffle flowers, and uh, W plus nine studio. Okay, this drawer has my uh, fuse tool and uh, this roller and my cleaning stuff. Uh, it's pretty close to the table, so that's why it's stored together. Okay, this one has my uh, label maker. Um, and also, yep, I made these labels using my label maker. Uh, and also I have uh, foiling stuff in here. Um, and regular uh, laminate or pouches too. So there's the foils. Next drawer has uh, some vellum, some sparkling paper, and also these tools. They're, I store them here because I mostly use them with my vellum. Next, this is the leftover flowers that I still have. Here's uh, a drawer with my greeting farm uh, stamp sets and also uh, some of the magnolias. Not many, just my favorites. Next drawer has some saturated canary stamps and also whimsy stamps, crafting Kimmy stamps, some gorgeous. Um, there's a couple more, uh, mostly for coloring, that I don't use as often as I did before. Um, okay, let's move on to the next drawer. And here I keep lots of different sprays, uh, Wendy's Gang. Uh, Wendy's Stamp Gang and also some Ukrainian ones from uh, Fabrika Dukorov that I got from my uh, Ukrainian friends. Also Lesses Garda uh, and some uh, of the Bow Bunny. Okay, and this is the drawer with stuff I use for my pictures to take pictures of my cards. This drawer is not very organized. There's lots of different uh, large size uh, cardstock and also some stickers, some of mine, some of my kids, uh, stuff like that. And this, uh, this drawer, I have some large size uh, designer paper that I mostly use for um, picture backgrounds. Don't really use it for anything else. Um, here I have some uh, ribbons and this drawer is full of uh, wood mounted uh, wood mounted rubber stamps. I don't use them as often but I really like to uh, keep some of my favorites uh, like this uh, lavender stamp here um, and the other drawer is has some of the ribbons. I don't really use them some of them I just like to put as a gift for my crafty friends. Um, and there's some embellishments there as well. Okay, and two last drawers. One has uh, some paints, the acrylic paints, uh, some Mod Podge, and also this texture paste I don't use as often, so it's here. Some ribbons, um, some twine as well, and some crinkled ribbon. Um, so there you have it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the tour in my um, crafty space. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be really happy to answer them. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.